If you were to tell me five years ago that the Second Amendment would be more contested in five years than it was then, I don't know if I would have believed you, but here we are. And as we approach the midterm elections this 2022 year, there's 10 guns that I highly recommend that you take a look at and really consider before the 2022 election. Now the reason these particular guns were selected is because these are by far some of the best and most popular guns out there that are really being contested when it comes to people up against the Second Amendment. Number one, the H&K HK416. This is very different than your traditional AR style rifle, although it looks the way, but it's short stroke piston driven. And I fired one of these several times. My sister-in-law has one. And you can shoot many rounds through it, and that bolt will just be cold. It's a brilliant design, but it's definitely something you should pick up before the 2022 election. Number two, the Glock 17. Glock 17 is on this list because for some reason the Glock 17 is becoming a target of anti-Second Amendment movements. Uh, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of semi-automatic pistols that are just like the Glock 17 in many ways. Uh, but for whatever reason, it is the Glock that is being targeted. And the Glock 17 is really one of the most popular handguns in this country. So if you're, if you're in the market for one, I definitely recommend you pick it up before November. Number three, the Kalashnikov AK-19. Now this is the newest Kalashnikov AK variant. Very advanced, way more than its counterpart. Firing the 5.56 or 223. If you're in the market for an AK and you want about as advanced as it could possibly get, you definitely want to check out the AK-19. Number four, the Ruger 1022. The Ruger 1022 is a semi-automatic magazine-fed 22 lr that is probably one of the most popular and the most versatile 22 lr rifles on the planet. But because it's magazine-fed, it is being targeted. The Ruger 1022 for me is one of the funnest guns out there to shoot. So if you're in the market for one, I definitely recommend that you get it before this election season. Number five. AR-15. Obviously, there's about a thousand different varieties of this, but this is the single most targeted gun by the anti-Second Amendment community. So if you don't happen to have an AR-15 and you want a good sporting rifle, I definitely recommend this is the one you want to get because it may be in the near future you won't have that option anymore. Number six, the FN SCAR. The FN SCAR is known to be one of the best rifles by FN Herstal. Many military and police around the world have adopted the FN SCAR. It's also on the high end of the price range when it comes to these style of rifles. Most would say if you have an FN SCAR, you have about as good as it gets when it comes to rifles. But if you want one, get them quick. Number seven, the Steyr AUG A3M1. The Steyr AUG A3M1 is bullpup design that has also been adopted by military and police around the world because of its design. Also on the pricey end, similar to the FN SCAR, but this particular rifle will definitely be on that list of targeted rifles by the anti-Second Amendment community. Number eight, the IWI Tavor X95. Love, love, love this bullpup. Had a chance to shoot one a few years back. Found it to perform flawlessly. This bullpup firing the 5.56 and 223 produced in Israel is definitely going to be on that targeted uh, bit of guns as well. Number nine, semi automatic magazine fed 12 gauge shotgun is what I'm going to recommend. There's a variety of these coming out of Turkey. They're all out of the same factory, but they come up with different names for some reason. But the one I recommend would be the Typhoon 12. Number one, I recommend a shotgun because I think it's about as good as you're ever going to get when it comes to home defense. A semi-automatic twip. But number two, because it's magazine-fed semi-automatic, it is definitely going to be on the list of guns that are going to be targeted. And finally, number 10, AK-47 or any of the variants otherwise. You can't go wrong with what you know works, and the AK-47 definitely works. So there you go. There's the top 10 list of the guns I highly recommend. You pick up obviously not all of these, but if, if any of these are on your list of desired guns, I'd get them now and I definitely would not wait. 
I'm sure there's a few I missed, and any insight on any of that we've talked about, put that in the comments below. I'd like to add here, we recently did a video with Maggie on the White House's new zero tolerance for FFLs. Click that below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel's Patreon, that link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.